Okay, I'm going to attempt to uh, cut glass tubes. I, I got my glass tubes. I marked this one off where I want it cut. And it just so happens there's three quarter inch or close to a three quarter inch OD. So I got a three quarter, or not three quarter, five eighths. So I got a five eighths collet in here. I'm just going to lightly clamp it without breaking it. <laughs> That's tight enough or not. I could make a, a little cushion. I've done that before. I made a uh, plastic cushion so that I clamp on the plastic and then it shrinks down. I think that'll hold it. So the red line on there is where I want to cut it. Naturally the furnace is going to come on. But I'm not worried if I don't if I don't get the, that one cut right because I have a few. <laughs> this was a hundred pack, and I figured if I ordered a couple, you know, four or five, I might as well order for the price. I ordered the whole hundred. I don't know. I'll probably use them for oilers and sight glasses and whatever. So, I got plenty to practice with anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a diamond file. This is a diamond triangle file. I'm going to move you up here closer, a kin, so you can get a good view at what I'm doing, at how I break this tube. <laughs> I want it to focus. I'm trying to get the camera to focus on it. So, right there, I'm running at, at 1400 RPM. I laid some rags down here. Mm -hmm. so, I'm going to try not to wiggle back and forth. A little off the line there. Can be short. Too late now. Once you make a scratch in there, I'm just barely putting pressure on it. It scared me. Yeah, I'm a little bit short. So, i got to put a little more pressure on it than what I had on it. I might have to make a plastic. Try to get back in that same track. I wouldn't be so shaky. My right it should break anyway, right where I Right where I've got it because I've got a scratch deep enough in there that it should break off right there. Break off. Make break clean. Pretty clean. It's not not exact, but it's damn close. Now I've got to flame polish that. 
I'll get my torch here. And I got a, I have a little piece of stock over there. Where did, okay. And I have a piece of stock over here. Yeah, there we go. It's just a call. I'm going to put that on the bottom. I'm going to flame polish that, otherwise, it could crack and break. And that way, I can I got this in there so I can turn it. The butane torch. You can kind of, if you look real close, you can see the edges kind of fade away, basically. And a spot right there. Right there. You can see it turn red and then you can see the edges kind of disappear as it turns into a radius okay the camera shut down in the middle of me flame polishing the the edges um, but I got all I got the tubes all cut and I got one spare center one or the middle one cut and uh, See if I can get it to. You can see the edges are. I flame polished them so they're they're nice and smooth. They got a little bit of a little bit of a rollover on them. Doesn't want to focus real well that close. Come on. So anyway tubes are cut so now I can go back to uh, the little cross members. This one here might be cut a little too long. So I might have to move that back a little bit if I use this one but the other two are cut right. So and uh, so now I can <laughs> put these away. Um, if anybody is going to build these and wants a 16 mm uh, or 16 millimeter by 125 millimeter, if they want uh, three or four of these tubes, let me know. You paid postage, I'll wrap them up and send them to you. Uh, you just all I, all I all I ask is if you paid the postage. I don't have uh, a lot extra of the big. Um, I only ordered five, I think. So I've got two extra here. I broke one. I broke one while I was uh, cutting it, and uh, but that's okay. That's why I ordered extra. <laughs> Lots of extra sixteens. Anyway, I'll be back when I'm back over there in. Uh, boring the holes for the uh, bearings and stuff on the little cross members. So I will be back.